HLS Show Me How, Microsoft Planner Tips for Checklist Items and Complete but Open Status. Hi, my name is Michael Giannotti, and I'm a Healthcare and Life Sciences Technology Specialist for Microsoft here in the U.S. Northeast. So today I was with a customer, and they had some questions about Planner. And actually, in their context, they were uh, using Planner within the context of Teams, which is perfect. But for our uh, demo purposes, I'm going to use a demo, a uh, little area I have set up here. I have myself and a, a team member who doesn't know he's being used today, uh, Tyler. Uh, we're going to use him in our demo. But um, this can be done whether you're doing Planner standalone, whether you're embedding it in SharePoint, whether it's a Planner plan that you set up in Teams. But they had two questions that they were having some issues around. The first of which can, was around checklists. So here you can see I have a task, task number two. And if we click that open, I have two items, two checklist items. And they could be, you know, named whatever. Um, it could be complete project charter, um, whatever the task, whatever those items are that need to be completed, all of which before the task itself is considered completed. But what they wanted to do was to assign those. And as you can see, there is no way right here within this view to actually assign someone. However, there is a trick that we can do. So I'm gonna actually click in it. And this uh, particular piece, they were already, one of the groups was starting to use it. So full credit to Sophie. Sophie, if you watch this video, thank you for your tip. We're passing it along. And what Sophie was doing was since she could not go and actually add an individual to a piece here, right? She was going in and simply giving it the initials of the person, right? Um, so you could put it before or after. I would recommend before just because that name will then readily show up. So now that I'm done, we can go ahead and close that. Here you can see, I can see, hey, as an individual, I have this particular item, right? So I can go in and then I checked, I marked it as closed. I can unmark that. Um, but I'm very easily able to go in and then just designate it. So visually it shows up who on my team should do that. The other issue though that they were having was around completed tasks because they, while a task may be completed, they did not want it to be closed. So for example, if I mark this task as complete, you can see it's now hidden. I can certainly show it, but then if I have many tasks, those will be there. But they had certain tasks that while they may be completed, they did not want to close them because they then go back and they would edit the task and reuse it, repurpose it. So they wanted it to be in an, a completed but open status. So another way that I gave them was, look, you have these pieces here out to the side. You can see I've already marked one. Um, I picked this particular color. So in this case, for example, this one, if I look at it, you can see it's marked as completed but active. And I can then even go and filter on just my completed but active uh, tasks. So here I can come in and I could again say, hey, you know what? I want to mark this one. You know, we finished it. All of our checklist items are done. Boom, boom. Leave it status in progress, but create a color code for completed but active. That means now I can see it a quick highlight this. I could go and filter and, hey, I want to just see my completed but active ones. So I could then quickly go in. I could repurpose and I could reclassify it. But using that classification here with labeling, that allows me to then accomplish that same purpose. Yes, it's completed. I can see it a quick highlight because of that color we've picked it. Um, it's completed, but it's still considered active and I can go in, make modifications, add additional checklist items, right? And have those now begin to show at a quick glance as needing to be done. And also we could then st set it to, you know, um, a different status if we want, or just simply uncheck. And now it's in its new status as needing completed. 
That's it. So two quick plan, two quick little things, little tips that you might want to leverage. The first of which is if you want to assign people individually here, just simply put in the initials. Now you could in the description say, hey, this person completed, but go ahead, put their initials at the beginning in parentheses. And that just at a quick highlight is going to indicate there are items I need to do as a part of this task, right? Certainly it does not send an email, but if they've been assigned, if you added them to the assigned and I added Tyler here, for example, he would get a, a an email to this particular task indicating it needs to be done and then could see what items he needed to complete as a part of it. The other, again, if you have a uh, task that while it's completed, you may want to modify, add new things to, to continue and furtherance it, use the labeling, pick a particular color that will be ind indicative of that moving forward. <clears throat> Mark that as completed active. And then as you complete the task, simply mark it there, not here. That will maintain its open status, readily available to view. So that's it. Some quick uh, tips that came out of today's meeting. I hope you find these useful. So like I said, I hope you find these useful. Um, again, that came out of an actual client session and these guys uh, are gonna be uh, leveraging that type of a feature. You might wanna think of it too. I'd love to know your tips and tricks. Um, hey, if you have them, share them. You know, we I can either post them for you, you can create a video, share it with me and we can post it out here. But if you have tips and tricks around planner, around forms and other things within Teams, love to hear it and love to hear from you. Or if you have questions and things, maybe you're looking for a different way to look at things. I hope this helped you look at things a little bit differently in Planner today and how you can extend it to meet your needs. But with that, uh, this is Michael Gennati from the aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's a healthcare and life sciences blog in the tech community for Microsoft. I wanna thank you, bid you have a great day. Take care and as always, ciao.